Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how I get my flawless skin with my derma roller. It is my new favorite tool. So of course we're going to start with a clean face as well as a clean derma roller. You can run it under hot water and then give it a spritz with alcohol. Next you're going to separate your face into four equal sections starting from the top of your eye, the other top, and then the two bottom halves of your face. You're going to want to do your derma rolling in one section at a time just so that you know that you've gotten every part of the surface of your face. You don't want to overdo certain areas as well so by doing it in sections you are able to keep track of where you've derma rolled and what direction you need to be going. Once I've completed the whole face, I'm going to jump into my problem areas, which is my saggy eyelids. I have really hooded eyes. So what I'm going to do is just grab the skin above and pull up and derma roll um, right over my eye, um, pretty much on the eyebrow, just so that it will give my eye a little bit of a lift. It won't be like a brow lift using Botox, but it definitely will help produce some collagen there that is well needed. After that, I'm going to treat my under bags. Um, this won't remove any bags that you have, but it will help if you have any wrinkles under there. So I like to just lightly go over this area. It is super sensitive, so make sure you have a really light touch, just like when you were doing above your eye. Okay, so like most people, an area for me that is worrisome is the glabella area, which is the area between your eyebrows. Um, I don't ever want to see angry lines there, so I just go over this area a couple of times just to make sure that um, as much collagen is produced in this area from derma rolling. Alright, so you're pretty much finished now that you've gone over those areas a couple of times, but wait. Uh, next thing you're going to use is a retinol mask. And you're going to leave this here on your face for 15 minutes. What this is going to do is help with wrinkles. It is all anti-aging and super great for your skin, especially after derma rolling. Remember, after derma rolling, anything you put on your face will penetrate deeper into the skin. So try to avoid things like makeup and sunscreen and even some moisturizers after you've derma rolled. But using a mask, like a retinol mask, is perfect. Alright, so now that the time is up, you're going to go ahead and remove the mask. It feels amazing to remove. And you're going to go ahead and head to the bathroom and rinse it off. Alright, so once you've finished rinsing off any excess product you may have on your face, um, you're going to go ahead and add some vitamin C serum to your face. Uh, once again, vitamin C also helps with uh, collagen production and it helps to smooth out the skin texture and it also reverses any sun damage you may have on your face. So I highly recommend using a vitamin C serum after you derma roll. And the next product I'm going to use is Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Um, using this serum will actually give my skin a more youthful look and it actually helps to secure any moisture in my skin as well as improve the elasticity of my skin. So this serum is another definite plus and must after derma rolling. All right, and that's it. That is how I derma roll. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching Life vs. Mom. Bye, guys.